Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Aaron and for today's video we're headed to the world of the Unliving, a new roguelike published by Team 17 where you only play as a necromancer. So if you're a fan of necro, maybe this is the game for you and today we are going to do a first impressions video. Because I've played through the demo, I've actually streamed the game, and I feel like I know enough at least what the demo gives you to give you my opinion. Now, I've been saying at the start of all my videos, right now 30% of all my views come from subscribers, which means 70% are not subscribers. And I'm hoping today is the day I earn your subscription, the day you push that little red button, because it really goes far. But only if I deserve it. Okay. Let's jump right into this. Right now, I am logged into the demo for The Unliving. And this is your kind of home space. Controls for this, you cannot change anything right now. It is WASD for movement. So when you want to exit and actually start your run, you come over to your portal here. And bam, we are loading. So this is your starting location. Now, when you start, you are going to go, you're going to get your first skill and you never know what it's going to be. You hit R and it gives you three different options. We don't want hex bolts because we don't want to use any life. Blood crust. Shields an Arius undead with blood for a little while. Hurls a corpse into the living to inflict damage and fear. Uh, we'll use that one. All right. Now, what we're going to do is anytime you see this little symbol here, guess what, it's a little skull, that is a corpse. When you hit R, you raise your corpses and they follow you around. Now your right click controls your minions. See, I'm clicking and they're running around. Okay, on top of that, if you highlight over them and click, see the circle, you will blow up that corpse and it'll kill everything inside that. So you could blow up your corpses, you could tell your corpses where to go and to attack, and then your left click is your attack. So that is your ranged, and then if there was an enemy close, you swipe at them. And right now, that is it. Space bar for a little teleport, and let's move forward. Thanks, go get them. All right, fighting, 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 and bam, killed four people. You see their little corpses are now there, and our army gets bigger. So top left, you have your life force, and on top of that, you have your power. Right now, we don't have any spells, though, okay? Lost a lot of minions, but don't worry. Our army is getting bigger. Now we got some ranged. Let's continue to work our way down. Blow up one of our corpses. All right, doing better. Our army is getting bigger. See where I'm going with this. Get the dog. Once I get a corpse around a lot of enemies, see that? It feared him. And it blew them all up. Good. All right. And our army is bigger. I think it's bigger still. Go get him. Get out of there. No, our army's dying. Uh, okay, so one thing I can tell you about this demo version is the minion AI needs improvement. A lot of the time, your minions are just standing around doing nothing. Oh, good shot. And then if you have your little healer and you blow him up, heals all your minions. All 
right, we're doing good. We're doing good. The unliving new rogue light. As you continue to move through the level, you will have ways to heal yourself and unlock skills. And you see in the back, like how many of, like right now I'm telling them to attack, how many are just sitting in the back? Unliving Rampage. So normally to blow up the walls, I will blow up my dogs that jump over, but it is easy to get all of them. And our army continues to move. So I try to find the ones that have low life and then explode them to blow up the enemies in the back. Until the whole group is dead. Right now, again, I'm telling them all to attack. Come on. All right, get him. Blow him up. Blow up. Blow up. Ooh, get that one in the back. See how many are back here? Fighters are just standing there. I'm telling them all to attack right now. And they're just standing around. Give me that. That was a little life. Oh. So you got to kill the entire pack of them before they become able to be reanimated. And let's heal. The game does a lot better when it's an open plane like this, where the, all the enemies aren't just in a corner. We want that. We'll get us some life back. All right, let's go down. Come on. Follow me. Ooh, we got a big guy. The game does get a lot more difficult, too. Now we can reanimate our own big boy. Get up there. Now, just like the healer, when you explode him, when you explode different units, they do different things. And you notice I tried to blow up this guy. Look at how large of an area of impact it is. It's a very large circle. Get him. All right. Let me just keep moving forward. Get him, get him. Not enough energy. I know. All right. We come up here. R. Boom. Build our life all the way full. So right now, this is our army. Pretty good. Not too shabby. And we're at full life, full energy. Right? Pretty good. You see how it's a little clunky, though? Let's blow up our big guy. Oh. All our 
minions are dead. That wasn't a good idea. But let's continue. See what we got. And we have reached, in how I like to call it, a checkpoint. Now, earlier you saw me open that chest and it had gold pieces inside of it. Right now I've got 23. So as you go on, if you acquire enough gold, you can come and buy handy dandy things to make your life easier. Whether it's skills or boosts or life. So this looks what a checkpoint looks like. You got your little wolf merchant, I guess what it is. But I think this is a good point to stop. I don't want to keep going because I've basically shown the whole game. Not the whole game, but what it's all about. You are a necro. You've got your shot. Space bar for your little teleport or dash. You control your minions, what they do. You can explode your minions. You can do... That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. And again, over here on the right hand side is minion abilities. And then over here, just my abilities. But that is it. This new roguelike, The Unliving. Now, this is a game that I've covered on my channel before. People have asked me what I thought. Okay. I played through the entire demo maybe 10 times. So I feel like I got a pretty good feel for it. This is what I will tell you. The premise. The meat and potatoes, the base, the core of the game is very solid. I like what they've done. Art, it feels smooth. I like the animations. Reminds me of Slormancer. I like it. I like it. It needs heavy emphasis on AI. That's what I will tell you. And the minions, since this is a minion-focused game, you are a necromancer, they need stances. So, like, defend me mode, or attack mode on your own, or stay five yards away from me, or go all out and keep fighting. Like, not just always wait for my command, or some kind of combination of both. The game is fun. It is single player. But this is just a demo. It's just a demo for people to get a feel for it, and I feel like I've got a feel for it. It needs more development. A lot of times my minions get stuck. A lot of times they are never attacking. A lot of times they're not listening to my commands. And when you're playing a game where you are only a necromancer, that is literally all that matters, is you have to feel like you have complete control over your minions. Also, for example, when you have one that blows up, right? It would be cool to have a way to individually control this one if I need to, right? So like, you know, hit control or shift or something, and now I can individually move this one so it's positioned in the right place for a larger explosion. You kind of see where I'm going with this. But that's my first impression. The unliving, fun, good premise, good base, good core, but needs further development strictly around AI for your minions. But I want to know your opinion. We could keep going, but you're just going to see the same type of gameplay. What do you think of The Unliving? Is it fun? Is it something you want to play? By the way, I will link the demo link in the description if you want to play it for yourself. But let me know your opinions in the comment section below. I'm sure you've heard by now that I have officially started a Twitch streaming on Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, having so much fun with the ARPG community. First link in the description if you'd like to go there and support me on Twitch. We do build guides together, I answer questions, it's always a good time, and we do lots of giveaways. Go there and support. If you haven't had a chance to join the official Action RPG Discord, please do so. We're now over 1,200 members, great conversations every day. The idea is to create a gaming community that could jump from game to game together, so you never start the server alone. Link for that Discord is also in the description. I hope you all enjoyed the unliving first impressions video. Hopefully you're entertained or at least learned something. Erin, out. <laughs>